Thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is Father Joe Tatro. I'm the chaplain of the university, and it's a great pleasure and an honor to welcome you here for this occasion. And for our official welcome, I'd like to ask the university president, Dr. Noreen Karochi, to please come forward. Thank you, Father Tatro. What a privilege it is for me to welcome you all here today on this very special and holy occasion. Thank you so much for coming, returning to our campus if you haven't been here in a long time or if you've never been here before. This is the heart of Newman University, our chapel. And thank you, Father Hotsey, for that wonderful homily where those of us who are relatively new here now understand in a much better way how connected the adorers are with Father Capon. Thank you for that. Um, Bishop Jekylls, welcome. Thank you for being here. Wendy, thank you for this labor of love and inspiration that you've done. I was telling some folks over here that I would sneak into the chapel from time to time and check on the progress of the mural. And each time I came, I was wild, and I'm sure you will be too. So again, welcome. I'm so honored that you're all here. And um, come back again often. Thank you. I would now invite Wendy Lewis, the artist, to come forward and to tell us a little bit about the painting and also to do the reveal. OK. Um, well, first I want to thank everybody for coming tonight um, to see the blessing and in honor of Father Capon. Um, thank you also to my family for their help watching my little, my little ones as I was working on this painting. Uh, Thank you to Newman and those that made this possible to get this completed. Uh, also, a very much thank you to uh, the models that uh, helped me in on this. Um, they worked very hard and they were very patient with me in capturing the desired expressions that I was really hoping for. Um, but they did a very good job. Well. Um, wasn't quite sure how this was going to happen, but I guess I'll go ahead and uh, unveil it, and, and then I'll talk about it. Wendy, I would like now like to ask Bishop Jacobs to come forward for the blessing of the mural. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this rite in praise of God on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful image of Father Emil Capon, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. When the church blesses a picture or statue, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come that we will learn the way that will enable us most surely to attain complete union with Christ. That as we struggle along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of those friends of Christ who are also our own brothers and sisters and our special benefactors. That we will remember how they love us, are near us, intercede ceaselessly for us, and are joined to us in marvelous communion. Lord, we bless you, for you alone are holy. 
and because in your compassion for sinners you sent into the world your Son, Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of holiness. He sent the Spirit to sustain his newborn church, a voice that teaches us the secrets of holiness, a breeze that strengthens and refreshes, a fire that sears our hearts in love, the seed of God that yields a harvest of grace. Today we praise you for the gifts of the Spirit bestowed on Father Emil Caitlin, in whose honor we dedicate this image. May we follow in the footsteps of the Lord, keeping before us the example of Father Caitlin, and grow to a maturity measured not by nature, but by the fullness of Christ. May we proclaim his gospel by word and deed, and shouldering our crosses daily, expend ourselves to others in your service. As we carry out our earthly duties, may we be filled with the Spirit of Christ and keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, where you, Father, receive those who will reign with your Son forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May God, who has revealed his glory to us in Christ, bring your lives into conformity with the image of his Son, so that you may reach the vision of his glory. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop.